So I think we covered. Do you want to do a quick, quick overview of all of your notes? Um, sure. Uh, I guess I'm, I don't need to go back in. Um, let me make sure you guys can see it. So um, far setting rent house goes over lows. So if you're fighting a Shoto or something like that where you, you know, they primarily low poke, that can be valuable. You can do it out of range and then buffer launch to get good damage off of it. Um, it looked pretty safe on block too, but I didn't look at uh, just how good. But um, just a couple of notes on normals that are not special cancelable: far strong, far medium kick, um, sweep, close roundhouse. Surprisingly, not special cancelable. And then a couple of important moves on block: um, standing jab looked like it had more frame advantage than crouching jab on block. That could be wrong, but that's what it looked like. Close strong looked like it was even more on block, and close medium kick looked like it was zero. Towards medium punch the overhead plus on block that is important. That was the thing I wasn't really using against that guy, and that that's why it's important. That's why it would be important if you're planning on actually playing Brian to really implement low options into your normal pressure, because if you don't have any low options, the other person could just stand block everything. So doing like low forward jab reka every now and then to keep them honest is pretty important. And then towards medium kick chain is my favorite thing that he has. I think that's like overall the best thing he has, which is funny because when we first started, it was the first Tekken chain we looked at and I thought it was going to be useless, but it actually turns out to be awesome. Thanks to the insight from Jimmy that it is cancelable into mock breaker, which I should note here. Cancelable into mock breaker explanation points for excessive noting. Oh, you guys can't even see my. Oh well. Anyway. So, yeah, the first couple of hits. Probably Bob Ross. No, just saying. Bob Ross. Those guys like that. Oh, you mean you mean Crisis? Bob Ross. Oh, oh yeah, 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 Crisis. <laughs> So towards medium kick and the second hit are both relatively safe on block. They're very, very slightly minus. So you can't really use them for frame advantage, but if you try to whiff punish something and maybe space it incorrectly and it gets blocked or something like that, you're okay. The jab, the third hit, is slightly more punishable, but still looked relatively safe. And it is cancelable to mock breaker, which is not safe on block, but that's okay. You have more than enough time to hit confirm. And then the high and the low ender after jab are both horrendous on block. Although the, I believe it's the medium punch, the overhead option is a combo starter. So that's cool, I guess. But you should always, actually I'm going to make another note. You should always block high. Let me change this. Boop. 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 Always block high after this more excessive explanation points. You always want to block high after the jab because the only thing he can do low is the sweep, which is a single hit. He cannot get a combo, whereas the overhead, he gets a full combo. Um, then he has the fierce light punch chain, which is also an awesome whiff punisher, I think. There is a gap in between the hits, so you can reversal, but if your reversal is not very fast, like if it's not a Shoryu, for example, let's say you're playing Nina, so your reversal would be EX Geyser, which is uh, relatively slow, you will not be able to punish the Fierce itself if he does not do the jab follow-up, so you want to keep that in mind. The jab on block is somewhere around minus three, minus four, and on hit, it is enough on hit that you can link a jab afterwards pretty easily. Um, I'll just put minus plus four or more, is also special cancelable. So that's pretty awesome because it, you have more than enough time to hit confirm the chain by itself and go directly into Fierce Rekka for max damage. And um, I, I forgot he had these, the Jab Strong Short and the Jab Strong Medium Kick. This is the Low. I, I don't understand the purpose of these. I mean, I understand the purpose of the short because it's a low, but I don't understand the purpose of the medium kick. I thought maybe it would give enough hit stun that you could switch cancel and get a grounded combo, but that does not work. 
so yeah I don't know literally why you would ever do this I don't think it's useful at all but jab strong jab is special cancelable and very safe on block so pretty awesome easy to hit confirm I'm also going to make a note that there is a gap before uh, gap I'll just put here gap here okay and then um, I'm going to put flying knee up here it is projectile invulnerable as well as snake pit pretty awesome snake pit is an awesome move to switch cancel and mock breaker great whiff punisher very fast great range as well so you can whiff punish things from really far but again I think if you're going to whiff punish with mock breaker I think you're better off whiff punishing with towards medium kick yeah they have almost the same range I think mock breaker goes slightly farther very slightly but I don't think you'll find many moves that mock breaker will punish that towards medium kick will not so um and yeah that's about it and ex reka um, oh, we never tested the invulnerability on EX Fisherman Slam. You want to do that real quick? Should I go back in? Uh, nah. Fisherman Slam. Lump version. Perfect AA. All right. So I'll just put EX question mark okay so is that the end of brian.txt <laughs> for now yes okay